Yo, what's up? Recently, I've been playing a lot more Mario Kart Wii in my free time. Specifically, online with CGGP and some experimentation and rebalance. And I've been having a lot of fun. I guess not. With these mods, it's possible to replace music tracks with your own by using what's called a My Stuff folder. Being able to replace music tracks from this game with music from other games is a really cool feature. However, I found that the process can be a bit lengthy at times. It can take a lot of googling trying to troubleshoot issues since answers are scattered everywhere across forums and YouTube videos. That's the reason I'm making this video, in order to make a more simplified and condensed version that streamlines the process. There'll be three things I'll be focusing on in this video. How to make single channel BRSDMs, how to make multi channel BRSDMs, and how to make the menu music found within the local single player and multiplayer modes, each of which having different methods when it comes to creating them. This video will not be covering how to make your own textures or things along those lines. Here are the timestamps for each part of the video. Before beginning to do anything else, I recommend acquiring these programs and items beforehand. Audacity, Patchdab BRSCR, Multi BRSTM Builder, Brawlbox, Your Music Files of Choice, Weems ISO Tool, and the file RevelCard.BRSCR. I will provide links for all the programs, however, legally, I cannot provide a link to the RevelCard BRSCR file, as that file is a part of the game. You can easily get the file yourself by extracting your ISO image via Weems ISO tool, going to the folder labeled game, and finding it there. The internet's also an option. This part of the video will be covering 26 of the 32 tracks in the base game. These tracks only contain a single music track, consisting of two channels. The following music tracks will not be applicable for this section. Toad's Factory, Wario's Gold Mine, Koopa Cape, Dry Dry Ruins, Moonview Highway, and Bowser's Castle. First, get your music file of choice. For this tutorial, I'm opting to use Toad's Circuit from Mario Kart 7 to replace Luigi's Circuit. Next, open Audacity and open your music file. Hit Ctrl plus A to select the entire track. Go to Effects and then hit Amplify. Amplifying the track is done to ensure the music can be heard over the game and its sound effects. Once that's done, go to File, go to Export, then Export as WAV. Don't exit Audacity yet as we now need to create the Lap 3 music. Hit Ctrl plus A once again, go to Effects, and then go to Tempo. I recommend changing the tempo by between 10% and 20%. Whatever works best for you. After that, go to Pitch, and adjust the pitch by whatever percent works best for you. Playing the track now, it should closely resemble what you'd hear in the base game. After that, export it as a WAV file again. You should now have two files, your regular track and the lap 3 track. Next, open Brawlbox and open one of the files you created from Audacity. Next, check the box that says loop in the upper left hand corner. Click OK, then go to File and Save As. Once the save window pops up, Click the drop down menu that says All Audio Formats and then click BRSTM Audio. Before saving, make sure to name the file its respective track. I'll leave a link to a list of every file name in the description. In this case, I will be naming my file n underscore circuit32 underscore n. Then click save. Do this again for the other file, making sure to add the prefix underscore f for the final lap instead of underscore n. If you prefer not to use Audacity when querying the Lap 3 track, download an open Final Lap Stream Maker from the description below, 
drag in your normal sounding BRSTM track, and then save the new BRSTM track anywhere you like. If you want to further up the volume of the track, open your Revel Cart file in Brawlbox, then navigate to the track of choice, where it says Volume, you simply input your desired volume. Make sure to save the file before exiting. Before proceeding, take your Revel Cart file and drag it onto the program patch.brsar. This will then patch the Revel Cart file. Now that you have your files, assuming you have CGGP, Put them into the My Stuff folder on your CTGP SD card. Plug your SD card back into your Wii and boot up the CTGP channel. On the channel, go to Settings, and then where it says My Stuff, either turn on No Replace Tracks, or Yes, depending on if you want to replace the textures for the tracks as well as the music or not. If you're playing a mod such as Rebalance on Dolphin, you'll instead want to go to your Dolphin Emulator folder, which is typically located in your Documents, go to Load, Revolution, your mod of choice, and then locate your My Stuff folder. Make sure to then go into Dolphin and enable My Stuff from the XML file. And that covers two channel BRSTMs. Your new music should now play whenever you play the track of choice. In the next part of the video, I'll be showing you how to make multi-channel BRSTMs, so stick around for that. This section of the video will be focusing on the other 6 tracks that were not applicable for section 1, those tracks being the one shown on screen now. Something to note before I continue is that some music tracks have different channel amounts. For example, Koopa Cape has 8 channels while Wario's Goldmine only has 4. Here's a list of the tracks with multiple channels and how many channels they have. First, get your music file. In my case, I'll be using Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart 7 to replace its Mario Kart Wii equivalent. Next, open Audacity and open your music file. Click here, and then click Split Stereo to Mono. Select all tracks, then copy and paste the tracks in. Because the track I'm replacing has 8 channels, I'll be copying and pasting 3 times. If you need to, Hit Ctrl plus A and amplify the track. Go to Export, then Export Multiple. I recommend making two separate folders in order to avoid clutter. One for your normal sounding track, and one for your Lab 3 track. Hey, uh, just quick side note, for some reason in Audacity, if you select all the tracks to pitch everything up or change the tempo, it'll mess up everything but one of the tracks for whatever reason. Uh, if you want to fix this, you're better off just selecting each uh, track manually and pitching it up that way. After exporting all your files, open the multi BRSTM builder folder and go to the folder named WAV. Once there, move one set your WAV files into the folder and name them one through however amount of files you have. In my case, I'm doing one through eight. Afterwards, open the program where it says channels, choose the option that matches your instance. Again, in my case, I'm going with 8. Check the box where it says loop next to the file path. The program will then tell you that the start and end points are the same. To fix this issue, open Brawlbox and then import one of the files by going to File, New, Audio, then BRSDM Audio Stream. Copy the numbers next to loop start sample, then simply paste that number into where it says start loop points. Where it says num samples, you'll want to copy and paste this number into where it says end loop point. After that, click build batch file. Within the multi BRSTM builder folder, you'll see a batch file named build. Simply run the file. 
After that, go to the folder named out and there should be your new brscm file. You can then rename your file to the track name you need. You can also rename your file within multi brstm builder. For the lap 3 track, you can either pitch it up and increase the tempo and audacity and then repeat the process, or you can use Final Lap Stream Maker by dropping in your already converted brscm file and saving it wherever you want. If you need to, increase the volume of your chosen track by using Brawlbox and opening the Revelcar file and increasing the volume there. Make sure to then patch your Revelcar file afterwards by using patch.brscr. After copying your files into your MySoft folder, plug in your CTGP SD card, boot up the CTGP channel, and enable MyStuff. If you're playing a mod such as Rebalanced on Dolphin, you'll instead want to go to your Dolphin emulator folder, go to Load, Revolution, your mod of choice, and then locate your MyStuff folder. Make sure to then go into Dolphin and enable MyStuff from the XML file. Some tracks in the game have different music depending on what section of the track you're in. For example, Koopa Cape has three different music tracks. One for the ground area, one for the river area, and one for the underwater area. To replace these tracks with your own, simply replace the two allocated tracks with the ones you intend on using. Use a list of the tracks on which each channel represents within those tracks. After that, simply repeat the steps shown previously up from where you changed the track to its lap 3 counterpart. And that covers multi-channel BRSTMs. Your new music should now play whenever you play the intended track. Lastly, I'll be showing you how to make the menu music found within the local single player and multiplayer modes. Before I continue, credit goes to Kevin VG207 for finding and documenting the method I'm going to show today. He also has a great video on this method if you want a more detailed explanation. Links in the description. Before importing anything into Audacity, make sure your music file has three layers of music. This is to represent the three music layers when picking a mode, a character, and a track. If you're unsure, here's what I mean. Open your file in Audacity. Next, find the sections of music which you would want to use to represent the three layers. Split them and put them onto separate tracks. Make sure the track lengths are the exact same. If the music tracks are even slightly ahead or slightly behind, the music tracks will become desynced in game. Hit Ctrl plus A to select all the tracks, go to Amplify, and set the amplification to minus 10. Copy the first track layer, paste it in, then move it below the original track 1 layer. Select the copy track, go to effects, and then hit invert. Now by playing both tracks, you shouldn't be able to hear anything. Next, select track layer 2 and the copy track layer 1. Go to tracks, mix, and select mix and render to new track. After removing the copied layer 1 track and layer 2 track, move the new track layer below track layer 1. Muting only the third track layer, you should only be able to hear track layer 2. Select and copy the first two layers, paste them in, invert the two tracks, mix them to a new track, and then delete those two tracks. 
select that new track and the third track layer and mix them to a new track. Then delete those two tracks. If you manage to follow along and do everything correctly, you should only be able to hear the third track layer. Before closing Audacity, we have to do two more things. First, we need a fourth track to represent the fourth layer. For those unaware, along with the three layers, there's a fourth layer played when selecting a character that goes along with the second track layer. For reasons beyond my comprehension, Nintendo decided to have two separate tracks for the second layer. Go to Tracks, add New, then Stereo Track. Highlight the new track, making sure it's the same length as the other tracks. Go to Generate, then Silence, then click OK. Second, we need to change the sample rate to match the vanilla one. Where it says Project Sample in the bottom left hand corner, change the sample rate to 28,000. Then select all tracks, go to Track, Resample, and set that to 28,000. Now we can export. Select one of the tracks, go to Export, then Export Selected Audio. You can save it anywhere, but make sure to save it as a WAV 16 bit PCM. I recommend naming your track something like Layer Zero. Simply repeat that for the rest of the tracks. Now that you have your tracks, open Brawlbox and import your Rebel Car file. Where you see a set of file names, sort by names ascending and scroll down until you see GRP forward slash menu with the file type RBNK. Open the file and you should see a UI pop up. Right click Audio 0, select Replace, and select the track you named Layer 0. Make sure to check the loop box next to the file path, then click OK. Repeat this for the rest of the tracks, then save the file and close Brawlbox. Before putting it into your My Stuff folder, I recommend patching the file using patch.brsar. After copying your files into your My Stuff folder, plug in your CTGP SD card, boot up the CTGP channel, and enable My Stuff. If you're playing a mod such as Rebalance and Dolphin, you'll instead want to go to your Dolphin emulator folder, go to Load, Revolution, your mod of choice, then locate your My Stuff folder. Make sure to then go into Dolphin and enable My Stuff from the XML file. With all that said and done, that concludes my tutorial on how to make a single channel and multi channel BRSTM, along with a custom menu music theme for the local single player and multiplayer modes. Hey, thanks for watching. This is my first time doing something like this and my first time using Premiere Pro because Sony Vegas is just awful, terrible, garbage. I forgot to mention but huge credit goes to Quindarius Gooch and the guys over at the custom Mario Kart Wii Wiki for posting about these methods and other information. This video most likely wouldn't be as extensive as it is if these guys didn't post about it. So thank you very much to you guys. I mostly stream on Twitch now, at least once every week, though I missed this week because I was busy making this video. I should be streaming this week or next week, so catch me over at twitch.tv forward slash yourboyxtg. I mostly stream Mario Kart, but every now and again I do stream something else. If you need any elaboration on certain things that you're unsure about or just confused, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Anyways, see ya.